Hello, welcome back to Subtech Online. Uh, it's me again, Sabit Christopher. Uh, today we are going to look at how you can create such a scorecard in Excel. Then still I will take you through on how you can create your own data using random formula function. Um, still I show you how you can create sparklines and all it takes to do sparklines. Then we shall see how we can compute all this data onto a scorecard like this. We shall group it. You can easily move this. So when you're creating dashboards, you'll need this. You'll need more than one or three or four. It becomes better to present your data in scorecards uh, where everything is incorporated. Okay, let's start. Now, the first thing is we are going to first uh, generate the data we need. So here we are looking at six months, that is uh, January to June. So I'm going to use the random formula to create our own data. Those are the margins per item, that's product one to seven. So what do we do here? We do equals to random between. I'm going to choose data between 100 to 1000. <clears throat> this means that I'm looking at making a margin of 100 to 1000. I'm just creating my own data. Then that one will give us a whole number, as you see. But I want this one to have decimals. So I can multiply it by any decimal like 0 0.12. So the moment I multiply it with any decimal, uh, it will give it be giving me a float, a float output. That is a decimal number. So I will copy this, then paste this throughout. So I will select the whole range I need to paste to, then I will just say paste a formula. And there we go. So already we have generated our own data from January to June. Now the next thing we are going to do is we need a trend. The trends, this is going to be, they're going to be spark lines. So you select the first the first out cell where you will need the spark line. Then you go to insert tab. Then you look for spark lines, which is always in insert charts tab. So I'll select on spark lines. I go with lines. So the moment I click on that, Excel will ask me to give the range of the data. So I'll select the range of the data is that is product one, enter, and this is my spark line. So the moment I fill this one downwards, it will do so, it will fill up to the end. Here this one becomes empty because I haven't populated my totals. So I'll go ahead and have my totals, which is the sum of uh, each month. Enter, and there we go. So I will auto fill up to the last month. And here we go. So we have our totals automatically. Now we pick the, the spark line of the totals. Now, the next thing is uh, how do we uh, make our spark lines communicate? Like we need a low value, a high value, something related to that. So select one of them, go to sparkline tab so when you select outside the sparklines the, the the tab disappears so select one of them select sparklines now this is the sparkline you can choose any format you need i'll take a light color you can choose any color you need i'll take this light color then the next i'll say okay i need to look at high points and I need to look at low points. You can go ahead and select the others if you have negatives, you go ahead and do so. Then another thing, on sparkline still, you can give them colors from here, but that is enough for me. Then I'm going to give marker colors, that is the high point I need it to be green, and the low point I need it to be red. So you'll select here, you'll say now my high point it should be a green, and uh, my low point should be a red and here we go so we already have our sparkline set so at the end of the day i will set a target so let's say our target is 10k and 100k okay i can make it 20k 20k that's enough 
then here we are getting our gross margin so our gross margin is going to be the sum of all the totals so this is equal to the sum of all these totals so that's our gross margin so we get that uh, you understand i made this dynamic such that every time it recalculates data changes so that's our target then how do we get the percentage margin so this is going to be the margin divided by the, the target so here we go we are 14 percent i can have this one with one decimal place and this is it now the next thing after generating all our data we are going now to the scorecard so a scorecard is um, one of the insights we use in dashboards to represent um, numbers to represent uh, insights you can bring it like here we have now the gross margin we are showing the percentage margin we are showing the sparkline trend and you have an icon which is presenting the money or something so you can get that icon using 365 as i will show you now we start off with the first thing creating our shape so you go to insert and you go to shapes i'll pick this with round corners and here we go so this is our shape i can try to change do some changes on this shape by uh, the shape feel i'll go with that color that's okay then i'll give it a shadow here we go then i'll give it a glow a medium one then what else I think this is it this is enough for this uh, for it now the next thing is i'm going to insert text boxes which will help me pick all these uh you do the same thing uh you go to insert this time we are picking a text box which is this i'll begin with this and draw a line so when you check this it has a feel it has a it has an outline colors which of which i need them to be neutral so i will change this on shape format go to text fill um we haven't put the text okay we can first leave that so we go to shape fill we need this to be no fill you go to the outline still we need it a no fill so you'll select the bars so the borderline of the shape you go to the formula bar and say equals i want to link this to the gross margin so when i say equals to that and enter it will be giving me my value so it is already linked to that value so i can increase that uh you go to home and you can increase the font size bold it if you like then give it its color white so there we go now uh, the same text box we can use it so i can copy it and paste so that same text box i can use it to link the header which is this enter so it 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 shrinks first of all so you'll have to redo the font coloring so i'll do a white and this is enough i think so we can have it down then you have the metric up so here we go then you can do the same copy paste i will need my gross margin here so the header this one is in c12 so i'll just change a c so you do the same i will put this in another color a faint one sorry select the borders then you can select the color i'll go with that okay now you can also have a copy paste sorry 
Now we are going to have our margin percentage margin. So we do the same equals to, we are changing now this to 13. 13, and there we go. So select on the border, then you go and change the font color. You change the font size. You can make this a bold, but we don't need a bold, I think. You can reduce up to there. Now there we go. So I'll put this here. Okay. Now we need our spark line. Now the spark line it is uh, it is already a it is already a graph which is in, in a cell, it is inbuilt in a cell. So what I'm going to do to take this, I'll copy my spark line. So I can't paste it directly, but what I can do, I can paste it as a linked picture. So you'll come and paste as a linked picture. Here you go. I can have this enlarged to any size you feel like this is better than can bring it here so there you go so you can have these extended here extended here and we'll have your spark line there then at the end of the day we can get our peak so how do we get the icon so in 365 when you go to insert there is there is a function for icons, there is icons, so you can search for any icon from either the net stock images or you can search the inbuilt ones. So I'll put just money and uh, choose one of them. So I can take this, insert. So here it is. I can change the fill color of the, of the graphic. So the fill color I need it to be white. So I will change this and carry it here. Just make it very thin. There we go. So I can reduce this to a sensible size we can go with. Now what is remaining? You you can you can see now that we are done with our scorecard. But every time I try to move it, it is disintegrated from the other from the other parts. So what we do, you'll go to home, then you go to find and select, there is select objects. So when you pick the select objects, which means I can select all the objects at once, right click and on one of the edges and say group. So the moment I group them now, it is the one component which I can move through. So hi guys, uh, this is all I wanted to show you how you can create a scorecard. Please uh, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, hit that red button, then uh, we shall be making more videos like this. Thank you, meet you in the next video. Bye bye.